Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. I'm going to have a go at making a knife from a few components I got online. I bought a blade, a brass bolster and some plastic to make a sheath out of. Before I go any further, I'm going to wrap the blade in some masking tape. This will protect the blade from getting damaged during the build and also stop me from cutting myself. The bolster needed a little filing and then it could slide over the tang of the knife. One of my favourite hammers is my S-Wings one with some leather washers on it, so I wanted to add some to my knife. I cut out some discs using a leather punch. I then used a smaller punch to remove some material in the centre so it could slide over the tang of the knife. I stacked up six of these leather washers in total. The rest of the handle is going to be made out of wood, so first I cut this block down to a more manageable size. Then I could hold the knife up to it and mark out where the tang goes. I drilled a series of holes in the end of the block of wood for the tang to be bashed into. It should be a pretty tight fit in the hole, but just to make certain, I'm going to fill it with epoxy as well. I pushed the tip of the knife into a block of wood and then I could clamp it up and leave it overnight to dry. With it dry and out of the clamp I could sketch the shape I wanted the handle to be. Using the bandsaw I cut out the rough shape of the handle. I could then try some Duresta style carving on the bandsaw. The bandsaw got it to the rough shape I wanted. I could then use the rasp to take it to a final shape. This little multi tool came in handy to sand down the leather to bring it flush with the brass. The whole thing got lots of sanding to get rid of all the rasp marks. I wanted the handle to have a lanyard hole in it, so I drilled a hole through. I thought I'd line the hole with some brass tube as it go nicely with the brass of the bolster. Just mixed up another batch of epoxy and this just got glued in place. When it was dry I could then file it flush with the handle of the knife. To finish the handle I just used some Danish oil and I'm really pleased with how the colour came out. With the actual knife made, now it's time to start the sheath. So I put the knife into the plastic sheath and then I wrapped it in a lots of clean film to protect it from getting wet. A piece of leather I had for this then got soaked in some warm water for about 10 minutes to soften it up. When it was nice and soft it could come out of the water and then working quite quickly before it cools and dries I could fold it round the blade and clamp it in place. This method is called wet forming as when it dries the leather should hold the shape. It now just needs a couple of days to dry out before I can do anything else. When it's completely dry the clamps can come off. I can then use a pricking iron to mark out where a row of stitching is going to be to hold it all together. I use some wax nylon thread with a needle on each end to saddle stitch the sheath together. I'd cut the leather quite big because I needed space to get the clamps on, but now all the excess could be trimmed off. With the sheath in its final shape, I could bevel the edges and then take it to the drill press and give it a burnish. I added a leather lanyard to the handle, and that's it all done. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more videos.